The Rat Pluck animation project involves about nearly 50 children from two schools, St Mary's Catholic School and the Rat Pluck Primary School, and the children are working together to make an animation film inspired by the area they live in, which is Rat Pluck. It's very popular animation and obviously it's at home and at school mostly. Children don't have these facilities to be able to go and do these things themselves. If you want to do any drawings or move a character or plasticine, we have to take every second we want for a character to be in the film, we have to take 24 pictures of it. What we're going to do is to actually animate and pixelate either yourselves or some other things coming in and moving around. I think it's also for the children to realise the importance of Ratlock and the history of place. Of the fourth, the windings of the fourth roundabout in the landscape. History of the place that you know it's been for over 8,000 years there's been a Raplock here and the relationship between Raplock and the rest of Stirling that it's always been a very important link with the castle. I think it gives the children a sense of, a sense of history, a sense of worth, especially when there's so much rebuilding going on, so many of the houses are bricked up. You know, so many children are moving, so many of their houses are being knocked down, new places being built up. See in the new school school? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I think they should put traffic lights up. Yes. Yeah. See the, see the new school? Is, that all, is, is, is this all just going to keep stay like that or is it going to change? It'll, this, this whole area will change. That building there will come down. Uh -huh. uh, and then you'll have a whole new facility going in. The children will write the story sort of putting these experiences together and partly my job is to, to make the children's story work as a film, to put these ideas together so that when the film's finished the children can look at it and say yes we made that film and that's what we wanted to say. And you've got to get the story right before you start making all the characters and animating. Mm. And then there's nothing to stop them going back in time to find out about these people and this good man of Balangig. So if you put down Nikita's idea then... The castle, see the people who live in the castle? They were helping the people who lived in the rat walk. See how like, all the slaves for the king, they could go down in the rat walk, right? Just and they could put the washing, like you said, to the washing lady. Yes. And then that could be like, it can make the washing get lost or something. And now you're starting to have ideas. He'll take him, take him into the past, he'll give a cup of tea and kill him. And the big cloaks Freema. on the washing line, Freema. and they want to uh, steal it so she can get in trouble because the king will think she stole it. Freema. Oh. Okay, okay. Hard, hard work, but you've got a story. This is our storyboard. This is what it starts with. The washerwoman crying and the king saying, What's the matter? And this is our washerwoman saying, I've lost the king's cloak. They each make a character for the film, and when they animate their character, they can see it coming to life. It's a sack of toys. Sack of toys. Now we'll cut off some plastic at the back and screw it on. I like 
cream. So I'm gonna add this. They'll do all the artwork and then finally they'll animate it. They'll do the camera work, we'll discuss, you know, whether it's a close-up or a wide shot or why you would use this shot. Maybe we can use sound underneath there so we don't need to see somebody closing a door. We can hear the door close. So we, it, it involves an awful lot of different aspects. You might be saying to the door. Yes, you say, well, hurry up, the banquet's tonight. We've got to get this ready. Your jug and just make the, the, the camera can see everything nice and clearly, okay? And we'll just put the cat sitting there with his fish. And uh, finally, we'll do a soundtrack, and the children will probably write a song for the credits. If one of the children is particularly good playing the violin or whatever, I mean, we use the talents of what it, what's there. Have you seen my colourful cloak? Ass over there. Have you seen my colourful cloak? Ass over there. We all know these three languages which sound different there. Let's try it one more time. No, no, no. Remember, leave the space. I know we're keen to get there. Don't worry. What is very exciting is when the film's finished, we have a screening in the village hall. Parents, friends, everybody's invited. And uh, really it's a sense of achievement. Gentlemen, welcome to Stirling Castle. My name's Joe King. Joe King, get it? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, never mind. <clears throat> Here we see the portraits of some famous people who stayed in Stirling and made Scottish history. Over here, our own Bonnie Prince Charlie. In 1746, he and the Jacobites entered the town of Stirling, but they never gained the castle. In the centre, Mary Queen of Scots. She was crowned here in Stirling Castle. When she was just a wee girl, she kicked a ball so high that it got stuck in the castle rafters. Ooh la la! On the right, her father James V in his royal cloak. People called him the good man of Balangheath because he liked to dress up as a peasant and mix with ordinary folk. Now, any questions? Excuse me, sir. Why is a Joe missing from his cloak? Oh, it was probably stolen. Now follow me please everyone. Mind the step. The castle kitchens are to your right. <laughs> huh? Stone Joe indeed. If only he knew the true story about that missing joke. I remember it. As if it was yesterday. It was September 1534. And I was planning my birthday banquet in this very castle. I, James V, have great pleasure to invite you to my birthday banquet tomorrow night. Now, what shall I wear at my banquet? Ah, there's my favourite royal cloak. That will be perfect. Oh dear, it looks a bit grubby. Please take my cloak to the royal washerwoman and wrap it up. Tell her I need it urgently for the banquet tomorrow night. Yes, Your Majesty, I'll go at once. Here is the king's best cloak. Please have it ready for the banquet tomorrow night. What a beautiful cloak. So many jewels. I must have it ready for the king's banquet tomorrow night. What a perfect drying day. A good warm breeze. The cloak will soon be dry. 
I think I'll go and have a wee nap. I'd better hurry up and take the king's cloak up to the castle. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, the cloak's gone. What am I going to do? What am I going to tell the king? Royal fish soup. Take three fresh trout. Throw in some leeks, carrots and a jug of wine. Stir well. Mmm, delicious. That will taste good. Watch that pig. Don't let it burn. Hurry up. It must be ready for the banquet tonight. We need more time. Bring another barrel. Hurry up with that chicken. We need it for tonight. Please bring my royal cloak immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Your cloak's not back yet. What? My cloak's not back? I need it now. My banquet's tonight. What can have happened to it? I'll just have to go and look for it myself. I wonder what's happened to my cloak. Oh! What's that noise? It sounds like someone crying. Oh dear, what on earth am I going to do? What's wrong? Why are you crying? I've lost the king's cloak. He threw me in the dungeon. I'll never see my bairns again. Wished, wished. It's not your greeting. Come on now, we can look for it together. Good morning. Have you seen the king's cloak? Nay, no, I have not seen it. Ask the blacksmith at the smithy. Good boy, stand still. <laughs> Good day. Have you seen the king's cloak? Nay, nee, I have not seen it. Ask the farmer and his cue. Good morning. Have you seen the king's cloak? Nay, nee, I have not seen it. Have you, cue? Moo, moo. Look beside the brig, the moo. Oh, what on earth am I going to do? We'll never find the king's cloak. Look, there it is. Ah! Uh, you the king? Yes, and this is my royal cloak. You risked your life. Here is a jewel as your reward. Please come to my birthday banquet at the castle tonight. Song. What I loved also was they took full credit for it. My favourite one was um, the dog. It was marvellous. Marvellous. The only thing I didn't did know, the ice cream lash did they come round at half time. I don't know, we chef. They didn't my chef. Oh, I would be, be proud of them all. You know, when you start a project, you're never quite sure where it's going to end up. And, uh, well, it's kind of a nice feeling to see that it's all come together in the end. Okay. 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 